Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. And it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning crescent moon under the astrological sign of Virgo. This reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Aries. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, what is the November message for Aries? Hi, Aries. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Mm. I have had oral surgery, so if I'm slurring or something like that, bear with me. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to get my mouth to function again. <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Spirit. Seashell protection. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Holy Spirit. Angel guides, Spirit guides. What is the message for Aries for November? Yes, Spirit. What is it? Hmm. Oof. Wheel of Fortune's at the center. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, two more. Okay. <laughs> One more for Aries. Okay, Aries. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yes, Lord. So you open up with the hourglass, uh, feeling like time is slipping away. I don't know if this is you being caught up with this feeling or somebody's feeling that way about you time is slipping away there could be a question of loyalty um, whether or not you see them as loyal to you or they see you as loyal to them it could concern loyalty and somebody's being loyal that time is slipping away on them being loyal to you Spirit wants you to know right now that you are under spiritual protection. Mm. This could be a time where loyalty is actually being tested in your union. Based on this test, that will determine whether you go forward with them or bring an end. Um, spirit could be intervening to test the loyalty. Uh, yes, um, things could be shocking as a result of this test. This test could produce a shocking result. Whoa. Yeah, either way, you're protected. Um, sometimes spirit intervenes. Sometimes he causes a detour. Sometimes he breaks it all apart. You know, the... Tower card is about something happening that you didn't expect, something um, occurring that sometimes breaks the whole situation apart, forces it to start over, forces it to test the loyalty. The time has come, yeah, where uh, karmic cycles mm come to an end, right? They change. You're able to see what direction you are going to go in. Mm. You know, there's a karmic situation that the loyalty is being tested. Yes, it could be your soulmate. It could also be friends, family, work situations. Leave me a message and tell me what applies to you, Aries. Is it work or is it your soulmate? Is it something a little bit more personal? Mm. Sometimes you have to test the relationship to really see what side of the fence they are on. And when they're not on Team Aries, when they're not having your intentions... Your needs, your desires, your objectives, 
at top of mind. Or even if for some reason you aren't thinking of them in the manner that adds to your relationship. When there's a lot of abstract things, things that are going on in the outside, but having a deep impact on what's going on inside of you right now. That's what I see. Lots going on at, around you, personal, at work, between friends, that's testing their loyalty to you. Mm -hmm. And you're having to make a decision on who stays and who goes. Mm. Because you're changing. You're changing. How do I know? Because you have the lovers, the wheel, and the tower. You have that as your current energy. You also have the death card here. You have a lot of karmic situations going on, be, vying for your attention, you know? But everybody's loyalty is being tested right now. And spirit is allowing you to see who goes with you and who you bring an end to. Mm. You're great, grateful for this awakening, the ability to see for your spiritual eyes, for a spirit guiding you right now. You're, you're grateful for that. And anything you're grateful for, you're attracting more of. Mm. Look at this. This is somebody you didn't even sus suspect with the sun reverse. You couldn't even see how disloyal they were. It's like you didn't even suspect them. They were hidden. That's why the tower's here. That's why spirit just broke it up. Hmm. This is somebody that didn't have good intentions for you. Um, you know, they were kind of arrogant and boastful. Yeah, they weren't on Team Aries. They didn't have good intentions for you. Mm. Could have been a third party or somebody who allowed a third party. Somebody you were hanging out with. You used to party with them. It's like you used to hang out with them. And then something happened where their loyalty was tested. I think they failed. I think somebody failed the test here. And they failed it because it's karmic in nature. They failed it because there's not supposed to be anything else with that. It was a lesson. You, They came into your life. This test of loyalty occurred so that you could see who's who and learn a lesson to not invest. There's a lot of pentacles here. Uh, page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, not invest in somebody that's not invested in you, that doesn't have um, good intentions for you. You tend to have good intentions for yourself, for other people, but there's clearly somebody that that's not reciprocal. They don't give you, they don't feel the same way. Mm -mm. Well, November's the time where... That everything is cleared away so that you can see who's who, what's what. Look at that. The death card again, cleared away. Yeah, because clearly there is somebody who is disloyal around you. Mm -hmm. And it's a karmic situation in nature. Don't worry about it. You are protected right away. You know that. But you may be shocked at who this person is, how this situation manifests itself. How do you see who is not for you. Hmm. Yeah, you know, this is you, the Nine of Pentacles, able to stand on your own, very solid. You know, they, like I said, don't wish good for you. They don't see things the way that you see them. And this is being brought to light now. Hmm. Even if it's somebody you shared a house with, a home with, this soulmate, for those of you that it's the soulmate, tell me about this house, this home. What is this? The tower. Yeah, something unexpected. You have the tower twice clarifying this soulmate energy, questioning their loyalty. Mm. 
you're questioning someone's loyalty. It could be, uh, for those of you who it's not a work situation, friends, family, it's someone you live with. Ooh, shut up. November is about understanding what's going on right inside your home. Energy that is all around you 24-7. It's a shock, this discovery. Yeah, this is somebody you've invested time with, spent a lot of time, eight years, big investment here. Mm. But based on this test... Leave me a comment. Tell me what the test was and how they failed it. Yes. I don't know who it is, but it's karmic in nature. You're protected. And November is the time for you to discover how sincere, how loyal they are. And based on this discovery, you will decide whether or not they'll stay in your life or whether or not you're letting them go. Mm. Yeah, when people show you who they are and they're not loyal to you, it's time to let them go. And sometimes if you're having a hard time doing that, spirit causes the test, causes um, the intervention, the detour. He blows stuff up so you can't even convince yourself that it's something other than what it is. You see the truth. <laughs> When two towers blow up on love, on somebody you're living with, it's because it's time for a new cycle and you have to make a definitive break. Two death cards. You have to make a definitive break. Okay. What else for Aries? November. Children may impact your ability to deal with the truth, but under this waning crescent moon, it's about surrendering, surrendering to what you can no longer control, you know, it's like you can't control it, you have to admit what's taking place, somebody was disloyal here and you cannot continue to placate them the idea of staying together hell there's nothing to stay together everything has crumbled with the tower there is no foundation here you can't use the children as an excuse they can't use the children as an excuse the death card is here twice it's over yeah you know i see you talking to others I see you confiding, Spirit says. Confide, which means when you confide, it's somebody you need to trust in, that you can feel comfortable that they'll be loyal to you. It's a friend. You're being told to confide in others that you already have a deep bond with, that you know they're loyal to you. You're going to need some help here, and it's okay to talk about it in November. But only with those that you can confide in, that you can really tell them what's going on, what happened here. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. I know from your standpoint, you definitely are pulling back on your love here, Aries. You know, you're realizing that you can't give to this anymore you're even questioning was it ever love i mean how could they do something what did they do i don't know <laughs> what did they do spirit what did they do there that has made aries just pull the plug you know the unrequited love means i'm not gonna give not another minute to somebody who has been this disloyal to me Mm. that's why it's important to talk you know because of course um, you've invested a lot of time here with the eight of pentacles 
Oh my God, somebody has worked harder than the other unrequited. They could have known that they've given more than they got. That's what it means. And, and you know, now there's a little bit of on the pity pot, like why was I a fool? You are not a fool for loving. Even if they don't love you back, that's on them. <laughs> that's not on you. So be the emperor or the empress with the dark night of the soul, meaning only take the lesson that applies to you. All of this is not you, you know? All of this isn't as a result of you. Somebody else played a part in this. And it's important that you understand this, Aries. You know, Spirit brought you here because he doesn't want you to linger in the dark night of the soul in November. All of this may come to the surface. You're going to find out things. But don't think that it's all your fault. It was a lesson, right? It was a lesson in loyalty. Something you didn't see. But now that you have an understanding, now that you know, only take what applies to you. All right? Yes. What else do you want to tell Aries regarding this lesson in loyalty and the ability to let go and let God to move forward? To not be stuck in the dark night of the soul energy. Oh, look at these that fell. I didn't even see them. Yeah, this is going to cause you to hit pause. I feel like you're going to be alone. But look at, they have a new beginning. The sun is going to rise. The sun is going to rise, Aries. You know? That's what's going to allow you to get out of this energy and to move into... The fifth dimension, which is what you're fated to do, what you're destined to do, what you're spiritually called to do. All of this is about spiritual growth. Look where you end up in a spiritual energy. It looks like you have somebody who's loyal with you, who is walking along with you, who's by your side, who's walking into the future with you by your side. Hmm. Yeah, that's what the future holds, right? Isn't that wonderful? It's like spirit allowed you to have an understanding even of why you had to go through that situation to let you know you're being prepared for what lies ahead, your future, spiritual growth. I, currently in the middle of November, I mean, spirit shows up 100% guiding you through this dark night, putting others in your path that you could speak to, but making sure that you leave this disloyal person behind, that you bring an ending to what no longer serves you so that you could prepare for this rebirth, a new cycle, a new beginning. Mm, 1818 on the clock. Yes, this would be the time that you should like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and definitely leave me a comment. Share the video if you think it will help somebody. Aries, I'm praying that you do see who's who, that, you know, spirit breaks it apart so it's undeniable who's disloyal to you. You can bring an end to it. You understand how to spot disloyalty. You're protected. You're protected from the very beginning. We knew that. But all of this helps you raise your vibration. It's like you're grateful that God showed you who's who, you know? Who was disloyal? Because you had invested too much time with them. It's time to know the truth. Something was hidden and November, oh. 1919 brings, yeah, it shakes things up. That's what really just happened. Let's pray. Let's pray that anything that happens this month ends in a positive way for Aries. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Aries. Until the next moon phase. Namaste.